Right now on the Health Watch, when people think of addiction, they usually think of drugs and alcohol. But it turns out you can also be addicted to your cell phone and it can have serious effects. Dr. Romy is here with what you need to know about detoxing from these babies. Hold it on, is. here's what we're gonna do. What are we, we're are gonna, we gonna put, put these, them down? Well, you know what, we oh, need to put them farther away. Painful. Oh, farther yes. away than okay. that. We're not gonna touch the phones. All right. Can't touch it no matter what it happens. Is. It's a serious problem, Tom. It really is. We've yes. been having some fun with it yes. uh, off the air, but yeah. it, it is a serious problem. How do you know if you were addicted to your smartphone? You know, this is, they say about 70% of Americans wow. put the cell phone next to their bed when they sleep. It's the last thing they look at before they sleep or the first thing they check when they wake up in the morning. People are about 20% checking their cell phones during church service. And here was the one that really got me, Tom. Almost 20% of Americans are picking up a smartphone in the middle of an intimate moment with their romantic partner. Get out of town. Yeah, that's not romantic for anybody that's listening that's doing that from a woman's point of view, not romantic. All right, so what kind of issues? Obviously, we, we know what issue that's going to yes. cause, but yes. what other issues does this cause? You know, it, it creates a dysfunctional relationship. When we think of families and friends, if they're telling you that you're not paying attention to me, it's actually a breakdown in communication. Having those cell phones next to the bed Tom has been clinically shown to disrupt sleep more than anything people start to feel agitated and moody when they can't put the phone down so so just having it next to the bed even if it's on vibrate or silent or whatever it's been shown to because wow. think of it most of our smartphones they ding and make other noises right. that will actually lift us up out of deep sleep in the middle of the night when those uh -huh. notifications are coming for emails or social media the other thing is just the temptation to look at it the blue light from the smartphone or tablets actually keeps us awake and and suppresses our ability to fall asleep wow. all right yes. so what do you do how do you, how do you okay. get into the digital detox okay so we are challenging our viewers this weekend for digital detox i have the directions on my facebook page at Dr. Romy. Commit to one hour with the entire family of turning off the cell phones. Maybe make it okay. a mealtime. Mealtime would be more, you know, romantic or, right. or, or functional. Just cell phones? Just, Just smartphones? Well, or you know, we're, talking, about tablets and we're things talking like the that. tablets and your laptops and let's not go running to the video game console. Right. Let's actually learn to talk to one another again, Tom. Right? Well, there's a concept, there isn't it? There is. Absolutely. Just one hour we're asking for. I, My global mindful living community will build up to five hours on the weekend. And here are the effects that people are reporting from all over the world to me, that they are sleeping better, they feel less stressed on the weekend, and actually can enjoy. And on a day, I know not today, it's a little hard with the rain, yeah. but get outside and enjoy nature without the earbuds that are disrupting us from enjoying our surrounding and the people around us. You can us. get outside today, you just need an umbrella yes. or a raincoat, right? Exactly, yes. All and right, a lot to think about, Dr. Rowling. But let's bring back the romance with digital detox. <laughs> Put those no phones kidding. down in that, our relationship. That's that is crazy. All right, Dr. Romy, thanks. Thank you.